So I'm the uh, battalion chief in charge of recruitment. So right now I oversee all of the recruitment programs in Los Angeles Fire, including youth uh, development, preparatory programs, and recruitment. I started off uh, as a firefighter, uh, recruit in the academy, and then worked as a firefighter in the field for a few years, and then I became a battalion chief's assistant. And from there, I uh, became a fire inspector, and then I progressed into the rank of captain. And I did that for about seven years before I promoted to Captain Two. And I did that for about four years before I promoted to uh, Battalion Chief. One of the neat things about Los Angeles Fire Department is there's a lot of variety. So I only told you about my career path, but we're here at Fire Station 112, which is our boathouse. And so we have all kinds of neat things in Los Angeles Fire um, that you can choose as a career. Should you get bored or stagnant in one role, you can study and prepare and become an expert at something else. And so all of our um, department members go through that fire academy and they, they get minimum uh, Firefighter two certification. And then, and then what they do is one year of probation and they go to three different fire stations. And over four months, they, they focus all on their engine work. And then they transfer to their truck house where they focus on truck work. And then their last station on probation, they focus on their EMS skills and they ride on an ambulance for four months and they get really skilled. But by the time they get done with those 18 months, they're trained professional firefighters. Being a woman in the fire department, you're, you're considered unique. There's less than 3% of us on the department. We would obviously like to have more women in the department solely because we have almost 51% women in the city of Los Angeles. So we'd like our business to be more reflective, not only in gender, but also, also in ethnicity. You really have to be dedicated to it. Doctors are constantly studying and recertifying on things and learning new learning about new diseases and new treatments and new drugs. In the fire service, it's very similar. We're getting new technology all the time. This fire boat is gonna be replaced shortly with a new fire boat with more technology and the challenges that we face. So being a firefighter is really a lifestyle. Folks who are willing to commit, it's a very rewarding lifestyle.